What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Red Snow. And we are out here at Miami Concourse, man. You know, and starting off the video, we are going to come hard with this Pagani Zonda 760 MV. This right here is a one of one in the world right here, y'all. You know, and it's crazy. And it originally was a Zonda F, but it was wrecked. And a whole bunch of other stuff went down with this car, you know. So, this thing... It's fully exposed blue carbon fiber. That is insane to me, man. Like, look at this. Zonda MD right there, y'all. One of one. Crazy, dog. That's absolutely crazy. But dang, this thing is just beautiful. Look at the exhaust tips. Let me know what you guys think about this Zonda right So once again, excuse the music. Here's the front shot of it right here, man. You know, let's get a little bit closer so y'all can see that carbon fiber pop on this thing. Look at that. That is ridiculous. We are walking into some heat, y'all. You know, we have a Mansory Ferrari right here, man. Look at this. Oh, my God. You know, I've never seen a Mansory Ferrari in person. It's nice, but to be honest, I will say I think the forged carbon fiber is a little too much, you know, with it on the diffuser down there and on the back in the forged carbon wing. I think it's a little bit, a little bit too much, y'all, you know, but it is nice to see. Let's take a look at this front shot right here real quick. Beautiful car, though, y'all. It is. Uh, the next up right here we have this beautiful Ford GT X1, you know, and this was another limited production run for the Ford GTs, you know, only 500 of these were produced in the world, y'all, and this one is number 29, and the proof that I have of that is right here on the side, it says it right there, 29 out of 500, y'all, absolutely crazy, you know, beautiful design on this machine, take a look at this front shot for y'all of course you know let me know what you think about this 4gt compared to this 4gt everybody mostly everybody is going to take the 06 version of the 4gt compared to the newer generation you know but the newer generation does look nice but the problem with the newer generation that most people do not like it is a v6 and this bad boy right here is a v8 y'all so let me know down below in the comments which one you would take between you know oh there's a lot of bird poop on this car that's absolutely wild they need to come clean this bad boy but let me know down below in the comments which one you would take the 06 or the new generation y'all can see next up we have a Pagani Wara BC this is the one with the Tempesta package on it and there's another one right there with the Tempesta package on it this one is very nice with the carbon fiber on it and the blue and white stripe going down the middle of it I do love the wheels on it too you know this thing is gorgeous let's take a front shot of the car right now all right look at this this is absolutely wild you know let me know which spec you like better between this spec right here and this spec you know let's take a look at this one with the red stripe going down the middle of it man these are beautiful machines dog like they really are like look at this they are sitting pretty fine. This isn't something y'all see every day. Y'all, there's three Tesla cyber trucks right here. It's crazy to see these things in person, honestly. You know, they do look weird, but it's it's still nice to see these bad boys in person. You know, let's take a look at this trunk space. You know, look at that. And it's available for rent right there. You do get a lot of space back there too, as well. But yeah, there's three Tesla cyber trucks. If you include the toy one, it's four, you know, and yeah, they're just, they they just look very, very weird, y'all. But let me know what you think about the Tesla Cybertrucks down below in the comments, man. Next up, coming to the party right here, we have this beautiful Bugatti Veyron right here. If y'all don't know about the Veyrons, I'm going to tell y'all some info on the Veyrons. Only 450 of these cars were made in the world, y'all. You know, let's take a look. Now, this is true peanut butter interior right here. You know, like, look at this. This is, this is crazy. It is. You know, nice chrome, too. Okay, I'm digging this Veyron, you know, honestly, I, I really am. This thing is nice, beautiful, white on it. We do have 
the carbon fiber diffuser down there as well. So, you know, from the cars y'all have seen so far in this video, where would you rate the Veyron in terms of look? And next up, I want y'all to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador. You know, it does look nice. It does have the martini livery on it. The wheels could be better, but you know, everybody has their own different tastes. And those look like those are 4G autos on the Aventador. That's wild. Let's take a look at this fat wing on the back of this car, man. It's absolutely crazy though. You know, beautiful carbon fiber diffuser on the back of the car. Let's take a look at these exhaust tips, man. Look at that, excuse the music once again, man, you know? But it's expected to hear a lot of music out here at these public events, you know? So let me know what you think about this Lamborghini Aventador right here with this Liberty Walk kit on man. <laughs> shot of that LaFerrari for y'all, man. Beautiful interior too as well, you know? Crazy line, and then you have a Monza SP1 up there with a Ferrari F50. So let's go and get that footage real quick for y'all. Alrighty, y'all, so here's a closer view of the Monza SP1. Beautiful silver on it. You know, I do love the stripe going down the middle of this car. It's crazy, like this thing does not have a roof, you know? So if it rains, you are, pretty much screwed you know <laughs> but you know let's take a look at this f50 next to it and let's look at the license plate it does say 001 so is this the first ferrari f50 it may be and i see some yellow down there on the bumper hmm so i wonder i wonder if this is the first ferrari f50 right here y'all let me know down below down below in the comments if y'all know and there's a beautiful red ferrari f40 right there sitting next to it man crazy lineup out so right here we have a mercedes-benz slr 722 s edition y'all and if y'all don't know about this only 150 of these were produced in the world you know and personally not a fan of the soft top on top of it but it is still a nice car but i am a fan of how the exhaust tips come out of the side of the car right there you know you have beautiful very very beautiful paint on it like let's take a look at this front shot right here you know that that Benz logo right there with the carbon fiber diffuser on the bottom of the car. This thing is just ridiculous, man. Take a closer look at that 722S logo on it for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about the soft top on this car, you know? Should they have went with the hard top or the soft top when they produced this vehicle, you know? And then there's another SLR right there. Beautiful cars out here. And then we have the F8. Already on the next up right here, we have a Mercedes Benz CLK AMG Black Series. These are limited editions right here, you know. Beautiful cars. This one is sitting pretty fine, you know, super duper clean though, as well. You do have the carbon fiber wing on the back of this bad boy. We're gonna take a closer look at that. The interior is super duper clean. As you can see, it is in top notch condition, and this car is for sale right now as well. So let's take a closer look at this carbon fiber wing on the back of this bad boy, you know, like, man, there's so many beautiful cars out here at this event. Y'all are gonna hear the, like, one of the most weird, you know, combinations of fusioning cars together, y'all. This is a Mercedes-Benz Tesla 300 Gold Wing. Yes, that is super weird. I don't know much information on this car, but I'm gonna assume that they took a Tesla, took the top off and put the, the gold wing body on top of the car and the thing is fully electric. And a, as you can see, this is the interior right here as well. And as you can see, it is charging right now 46%. That's absolutely crazy, but this interior is clean and it's on top of HRE wheels. On this one, I don't know what it is. It does look like another version of a 300 SL, but it is not battery powered. I don't think. You know, I do love the blue on this. Beautiful blue interior, but the blue paint is just 
hidden in the sun, y'all. Look at the sparkles in that paint. But yeah, they have some crazy builds out here. You know, I do love the carbon fiber that they do have on this car that's going with like a kind of futuristic like plastic look and it is on top of HREs, you know. So let me know what you guys think about this bad boy down below in the comments, man. Oh, and look at this mint green Ferrari F40 followed up with a lot Ferrari. Oh, this is absolutely crazy, y'all. You know, everybody's over there trying to get their photos and stuff, you know? Let's try to get this front shot real quick of this car. Like, dang, this is absolutely crazy. Like, look at that color on it. Oh my lord. We've never seen a mint green F40. Look at that. This is really insane, to be honest. Alrighty y'all, so once again, excuse the loud music, you know, I got cars with Enrique right there, as you can see, you know, he's everywhere, all over the place. We have the EB10 Super Sport, you know, we have a Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus, and then we have this beautiful green Diablo. So Enrique, so far since we've been out here at this event, what's your favorite car so far that you have seen? The 300 Bugatti. This right here, y'all. So this is what Enrique is digging right now. As y'all can see, it is a big crowd. So we are working our way through. So this is what Enrique is digging right here, y'all. The 300 plus Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. Look at that. Beautiful. So what do you like so much about this 300 plus? Four carbon fiber plus the yellow accent. I mean yellow. Orange accent. Heck yeah, you know. Hey, there y'all have it. Personally, me, y'all, my favorite car here is the one-off Pagani Zonda 760MD. So, this Lamborghini Diablo right here is a special edition, y'all. Very beautiful. I do love the green on it. Very gorgeous. You do have those nice chrome exhaust tips on the back, of course. Beautiful car. And then we have the Mercia Lago. This is a very nice orange on this. We're actually going to walk around and go behind because it's crowded over here. So, let's get a better shot over there. Is this a Diablo GTR? Here we go. Is that a Diablo GTR? It looks like it. Oh, y'all. If this is a Diablo GTR, that's absolutely insane, y'all. It really is. And then we have this beautiful Chiron right here. I do love this fully exposed carbon fiber on it with the blue accents and the blue interior. And this is a Chiron Sport, y'all. As y'all can see right there, it is not a Diablo GTR. It is a Diablo SVR. I've never even heard of that, y'all. If y'all know about the Diablo SVR, comment down below and give me some information on this car because this looks menacing, y'all. It really does. And over there, oh, snap, y'all. Hold on. We got to make our way over there. We have to. We have to. And then next up right here, y'all, we do have this Bugatti Chiron Purse Sport with the Bugatti Devo. This is absolutely crazy. One of 60 in the world right here, y'all. Nice silver. I do love the carbon fiber on it too, as well. And then we do have that Devo lined up right there, right next to it. And that Chiron right here is a special edition Chiron. It's only 20 of those Chirons right there in the world. And that's matte exposed carbon fiber. On it. That's absolutely crazy, y'all. So let me know what y'all think about this Chiron Purse Pro right here. This thing is nasty, man. Alrighty, y'all, and then on this side, you know, we have the Lamborghini Centenario. You know, this one is very beautiful. And then we have the Sion, of course, and I believe this is a military green color. Correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. I do love the front headlights on this car, especially with the carbon fiber headed on it. And then you have the Huracan Strato right there, too, as well. So, like, this is absolutely crazy footage, man. You know, like, it's insane out here. You know, you have the STO over there as well. You know, it is a super duper crowded event. So, we just have to work with what we have. And this Strato is nice. That is a nice green on it with the red Strato down there below. That's absolutely nice. That's a killer spec, though. Honestly, it is. Ooh, and then we have this beautiful Technica lined up right here. Look at that. That's a gorgeous Technica, y'all. Can't even lie. There is another Centenario, bro. Look at that. This one is fully exposed carbon fiber with the red accents. You know, like, Miami goes crazy with these events, bro. Like, it's absolutely insane to me, to be honest, man. Like, and then behind the Centenario, right? Behind it is 
a Senna GTR. And I don't even know if this is a road legal Senna GTR. I don't know if they converted it or you not. Make it road legal. It don't matter. Honestly, like, hey, y'all heard what Enrique said. He said, y'all need to make it road legal. <laughs> but yeah, let's get a little nice back. Bro, this wing is super duper fat. Oh my lord. Look at how big this wing is, bro. That's insane to me. God dang. Let me know what you guys think about the Center GTR down below in the comments, dog. Like, for real. This is nasty. And then you have the GT3 RS right here, of course. And another one over there as well. So, this whole lineup is going to be a hybrid between Porsches and, of course, Gutherworth. This is 911 GT2 Evo right here, y'all. You know, it's not every day that you see these cars. You know, like, these are straight track weapons. They sound ridiculous. Once again, excuse the music, man. But... This is a nice blue on it. Do love the livery as well. As you can see, it's fully gutted out. It is a race car, y'all, you know, as well. So, and then you have the GT3 RS. This nice white with the green color combo it is nice. I believe this is the second or third time we have seen this spec right here. And then you have the top off of the Gutterworth, man. That is a nice color, though. It's very beautiful as well. So, we're gonna go back and take a walk through and look at this GT3 RS right here. Now, this is a killer spec as well. You know, ooh, that is sexy. Very gorgeous, man. Lord. And then you have the N Largo. You know, now, Enrique, you know, right now, I'm kind of confused, you know, because with, with my Ferraris, I tend to get them mixed up. Is this one right here a 812 with an N Largo kit? Yeah. Okay, so right here is the 812 with the Enlargo kit, y'all. That's absolutely crazy. It really is. Let's take a better up close view of this car. You know, look at the kick. Novatech. Right there, y'all. Oh my god. You know, I don't know how many of these were made, but I do remember reading something about it a while ago, and I think it is one of 18. It might be. It, it, it's either one of 18 or something like that. Correct me down below in the comments, man. You know, look at that though. And then behind us, we have the Gambella Mirage GT, bro. Look at this. Oh, and this is a different one than the one we've seen during Quail. That one was black with orange accents. This one is black with red accents, y'all. So, let's do a full walk around of this. Look at that, man. It's not every day you see these cars out. Like, it's super rare. And it's something over there revving crazy, man. And then, of course, we do have the Aventador SVJ right here. You know, we see SVJs all the time. They are a beautiful car. They do sound nice. I do love the carbon fiber wing on the back as well. You know, SVJs are menacing. They really are. And look at this nice 911 Turbo right here. This one is from 96. Y'all, right here we have something crazy, and this is something that you never see at all. Right here is a twin turbo Lamborghini Diablo, y'all. And this is absolutely crazy. I'm gonna show y'all on the back it says twin turbo Diablo VT. That's insane. The back view right here, as y'all can see, it does say twin turbo on the back of it. Look at that, y'all. That's absolutely crazy. The twin turbo Diablo VT, man. Wow. y'all so that's miami concourse right there y'all as y'all can see everything is rolling out on a trailer the trailers are coming in to pick up the cars we have a 1 of 20 special edition bugatti chiron sport right here you know look at that beautiful cars but if you enjoy the footage go ahead and like and subscribe and thanks for stopping by the channel man and i'll see y'all in the next upload peace out y'all